exist. It's been more than 24 hours since the Igbos, some indie developers, Biafra criminals, bunch of criminals, they have been talking down on the Oba of Benin and other people, and other people, even the Yorubas. OP has not condemned it. OB has not pointed out. OB have not cautioned their people. We don't even want to talk about the what the indie developers, the Biafra criminals are doing in the Southeast. Taking the life of Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to FO's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. We are waiting for Peter Obi to condemn the actions of his kinsmen insulting the Oba of Benin. The Ebos on social media especially on TikTok and Twitter have been disfiguring the picture of the Oba of Benin and also insulting him. People have been waiting for Peter Obi to condemn their actions and call them to order. 48 hours since the incident started, Peter Obi has done nothing, despite the Benin's support he got during the presidential election. Peter Obi cannot say he is unaware of what is happening, because it is all over social media. Reno Omakri wrote, 24 hours ago and it reads in part. I waited for 24 hours to see if Peter Obi would even acknowledge the bile attacks on the Oba of Benin by some Nigerians, but he has completely ignored it, preferring instead to gaslight Nigerians on the seizure of Nigeria's presidential jets arising out of a decades-old contract dispute by the Ogun state government. Nigerians, I ask you, if a group from the southwest had insulted the Obi of Onicha the way these people savaged the revered Oba of Benin, would Peter Obi have been silent, he said. This guy from Akwa Ibam is saying the same thing. He said he has been waiting patiently, if Obi would condemn the actions of his brothers, from throwing insults at the great Oba of Benin. It has been more than 24 hours since some Igbos have been abusing and accusing the Oba of Benin. I have not seen Obi condemning it. I have not seen Obi caution his brothers and sisters for insulting the Oba of Benin but he is quick to condemn the federal government for the seizure of the presidential jet without even knowing the details that is why we know that Obi is a failure, he said. Please watch and listen to this guy as he exposes Peter Obi's hypocrisy. I salute you. I salute you. I salute you. You see, I've been waiting patiently to see if Obi, if Obi will condemn his own brothers, the developers, be a fraud bunch of criminals from throwing insult, from insulting the great Oba of Benin. I have been patiently waiting for Obi. It's been more than 24 hours since some of the Igbos and the developers, Nyamri people, have been abusing and accusing the Oba of Benin. I have not seen Obi condemn it. I have not seen Obi caution his brothers and sisters for insulting the Oba of Benin. But Obi is quick to condemn the federal government for the seizure of the presidential jet without even knowing the details. That's why we know that Obi is a failure. I'm telling you, Obi don't even know the details that the seizure of the presidential the presidential jet is not under. It wasn't. It wasn't even under President Tinubu. The debt that it wasn't even the President Tinubu is not even the cause of everything. It's not even the cause. Of, it's ten years ago. Obi did not even wait, but he was quick, you know, to look for what to condemn the country. I've always been saying it. The Igbos, the Nyamri, the Indian developers, bunch of criminals. They are always looking for negative news. They are always looking for bad news to push to speak evil against the country. That is what they have always been looking for. They are always looking for bad things to condemn Nigeria. Yet, yet, they want to be president of Nigeria. How is that possible? Even the ancestors will never allow it to happen. Guys, have you noticed? It's been more than 24 hours since the Igbos, some indie developers, Biafra criminals, bunch of criminals, they have been talking down on the Oba of Benin and other people, and other people, even the Yorubas, OP, has not condemned it. OB has not pointed out. OB have not cautioned their people. We don't even want to talk about the what the indie developers, the Biafra criminals are doing in the Southeast. Taking the life of their brothers. OB has never one day condemned it. OB has never criticized their own brothers. OB has never cautioned their own brothers for all the things that they have been doing to people. Buying people, taking the life of people, kidnapping people, selling fake products. OB has not mentioned anything. Even when the federal government, you know, you know, you know, captured the Igbo, some of the Igbos in the in the in Lagos that was kidnapping people. Even what about that one that happened in Ijebu, Ijebu Ubo, in is it on Ogun State or Oshun State? Where between that place? Have you seen Obi? Have you seen Obi talk about it? Obi don't talk about it. Obi is always looking for negative things to con to condemn the country, but yet 
He has not condemned his own brothers for, for kidnapping people in Nigeria, for making money through kidnapping and organ investing. Obi has not talked about it. Are you saying it now? Obi did not even call out Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa for stopping their own people from writing exam. Writing Wayek in Dibo, Akaibo. I don't even know where it is. In Igbo land. I don't even know where. Or is it Biafraud? Obi did not condemn Simon Ekpa for making such statements, for bringing out unknown government to terrorize people to, from stop, stopping people from writing the examination. Obi did not condemn him. But yet, Obi is always waiting patiently, looking for negative things to portray against the country. That is why we know that Obi is a failure, is a boy. Obi cannot go nowhere. Igbos have always been looking for bad things to speak against the country. Some people will say to me, oh, Nsima, it's not all the Igbos. They are good Igbos. Where are the good Igbos? I keep asking these questions. Where are the good Igbos? Why? Okay, is the bad Igbos more than the good Igbos? It's an important question that we need to ask. Because we have seen this thing have been happening for a very long time. For a very long time. We have been keeping quiet, but this time around we are not going to keep quiet. My question is, why is Obi not calling out his brothers for doing kidnapping? For selling fake products, for buying people, from stopping people from writing their exams, from you know taking the life of people, from abusing the other of the knee. Why is Obi not condemning it? Why is Obi not cautioning his own people? Obi is quick to talk about the federal government presidential jet without even knowing the details, without even knowing the truth, the, <laughs> the main information. That is why this time around, we are not going to keep quiet, guys. We are not going to keep quiet. The ancestors of the land, the owners of the land, we are rising up to say enough is enough. Of this IPOP BIA fraud, the developers bunch of criminality. Stay blessed, guys. Remember, we continue to pray for our president, His Excellency Asiwa uh, Asiwa Jubala Naitu. May God bless our president. May God bless the senior president. May God bless our vice president Shetima. And may God bless all of us, the ministers, everybody that is joining hands together to make sure that this country works. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria, guys. Stay blessed until I come your way next time. Bye for now.